Well, it's really good to see you back, Paxson, and it uh, brings fond memories back to me as a commentator and an early Giants supporter, and uh, welcome back to Belfast. It's great to be back, Wayne. Thanks. Uh, like I said, things have changed here, but they've all stayed the same with the uh, great fans and, you know, the cities start to progress, and, uh, you know, hopefully things just continue to get better here. It's Tell me, what's it like being back in Belfast after those first heady years of uh, starting a new franchise cold and, and uh, in Belfast and I said, you're playing where? <laughs> uh, it seems like a long time ago now. It really does. Uh, you know, it was, it was 10 years ago. So we came, uh, get off the ferry. I remember getting off the ferry as me and Rob Stewart and uh, Tom Blatch for our first uh, equipment manager here. And we got, we were driving the van and we came off the ferry to Belfast and we looked around and said, oh, here we go, boys, and uh, you know, and that, I remember it was like yesterday. It was a nice uh, fall day. It was in early September, and so it was. Uh, it was a start. It was the best decision we ever made. Put it that way, it, to come up and play in Belfast. It's been a. It was a fantastic city for me. I had a couple boys born here. And I have a kinship to this town. I have a lot of great friends and great memories here, uh, and so I knew it was going to be the last city that I ever played in, uh, that I ever wanted to play in, and so I've been gone. Well, it's almost seven years now. So it's been, time's going fast, but. Uh, it's, it's a great city. I uh, felt fortunate when, when Shane asked me to come back to, to play in a game and any excuse to come back and visit my friends and have a good time. I've been laughing for two days since I've been here. My stomach is sore from laughing so much. It's just great to see the guys again and, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Jason Ruff, the man who made the Giants during those early years and won the championship. I always remember you as if we had another 11 of you, we would never have lost the game of the season. Well, that's... That's a great honor, I mean, but uh, I mean, we also had, we had a good team back then. And I mean, we, we, I always remember the first year I came over here, we played London and we got spanked in the game one, first one of the year. And people probably thought, oh, this could be ugly, but team pulled together and we put a string of games together. I think, I don't know the number, but um, Super League, I think they thought we wrapped it up in Bracknell or somewhere in there. and. That was a good memory, and uh, you, like you, we were just talking, you, you, the memories you remember are the guys you won with, and you could probably ask anyone that was here who played on that team, and we'd name them off in no time. Reflections back, you're flying over here, probably jet lagged, and when you arrived, I noticed that the speed that uh, has disappeared a bit in practice <laughs> out there. <laughs> but uh, what were your reflections when you jumped on a plane and said, hey, going to Belfast again? Oh, it's just excitement, you know, because it, you knew that you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the game is great. Uh, I knew that I would not be as good or as fast because uh, I have not been, you know, training uh, anymore. So I haven't been on the ice in many, many moons. <laughs> so, yeah, that's part of it. But the, the excitement and for the fans uh, is that they get to see the, some of the old guys, maybe their last time they'll ever be in Belfast, some players, I'm sure. Uh, so this is a, a chance to come out and see their, their old heroes of, of old that they want to come and see one last time. And for us, it's a chance that we can support Shane and, and get to see him in his last game and celebrate his career with him because uh, he had a fabulous career. So uh, it's just an exciting time and it was more than happy to take a week out and come and spend some time with him. Okay, give us some memories about uh, certainly your, your involvement with Shane Johnson. Uh, biggest thing about Shane you can uh, never forget. I mean. Everybody's, you know, marked by their plays and this and that. But uh, Sean's person, uh, Shane's personality and everything have been great. Uh, just the, how hard he works and uh, just a just a good team guy he was in the dressing room. Uh, you know, he was always there, and uh, we talked about it uh, yesterday. Uh, he was always the the clutch guy when he needed stuff. You know, a ten-one game he might not uh, have any points, but you know, in that two-one game, three-one game, he'll make a couple of biggest plays of the game and still, uh, you know, have come up with a couple of points. Tell me, what was it like playing in front of Shane Johnson? It was was he always the, the anchor behind you guys? He was uh, he was a guy that always came to the rink and uh, put everything out there every night. Didn't matter, you know, you could be tired, you could be hurt. This guy was coming out and he was playing. And uh, when you have a guy like that in the lineup, you you seem to follow what he does. And uh, he brought a lot to the table, and it was enjoyable to play with him. Well, I was I was telling a story earlier. Um, I met Shane actually when he played for the London Knights and I played for the Bracknell Bees and he was so difficult to play against. Oh, he was just a menace. He's a, he was a very good defenseman and very difficult to play against and he just frustrated his opponents. 
And so the next year he came to play in our team and I was so happy when he came to play for Bracknell because that meant I didn't have to play against him anymore. And it just went from there. And uh, the f if you hang around Shane, I was just telling everybody this, you hang around Shane long if you get to win championships. Because Shane wins at every team he's ever been on. He's been on all six Giants champion teams. He won in college, he's won everywhere he's played, he's won a championship. So he's the guy you want to have on your team because he makes you win. And so I was fortunate enough to, to be on some of his winning teams with him. Tell me, what does it mean to you to coming back to Belfast after all these years? Um, I think like I've said to a lot of people, uh, my family's back home, but if you had to pick a second place to live, it would be here. So uh, the fans that were here now are my friends and uh, they've continued to, to care about me and stayed in touch with some of them. And, and it's, it's, it's important to me, like I said, uh, back home and uh, out of hockey because I want to be closer to family. But coming back here, I, I'm close to family once again. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it, it's it, people ask back home, you know, what's it like? And I said, well, it's, uh, I had spent four years there and uh, four enjoyable years and I like, loved every minute of it, the hockey part and the outside, uh, the hockey aspect. And uh, I wouldn't have come back. I, I, I love this place. I it, Pulling in today, me and Taft, Taft picked me up in Dublin and the stories we were throwing around just makes you want to stay, you know, it's... It, it's all about the com camaraderie and, and the people that you got to know and meet and, and the players you you won championships with. It all brings back the memories of where you where you were playing and it was Belfast. I could just remember them singing out whenever someone did anything wrong to some any of the members of the Belfast Giants, they'd all sing out in unison, Paxton's gonna get ya. Yeah, like I said, it's I, I mean, I, I appreciate it, and it's just a fond memory. Um, I don't know, like, almost speechless. You know, what do you say to that? Uh, can't thank the fans enough for the, the warm welcome they've given me here, and like I said, made me feel part of the, the family here in Belfast at the Odyssey.